What's going on guys? We're back with another video and today I'm going to show you guys how I do my mock scrapes. I'm going to show you the tools that you need to do them, how I like to put them in, and what I've seen works for me in the past. There's a million other ways that you can do this. This is just how I do it and how I've had success with it. We're here on a new piece that I've never hunted before. We have some good intel. We've got some good bucks that we've been seeing and scouting and, and we've been able to get some awesome pictures on the black gate of some pretty decent bucks. And today I'm going to be putting in my mock scrapes so that you know they might not get hit right now but once october rolls in and the beginning of november rolls in you know these bucks are going to be hitting scrapes and hopefully they're going to be hitting this one where i can get an awesome shot all right guys so this is going to be the location of my first mock scrape on this property as you can see i've already kind of tilled the ground up a little bit with a little uh, rake but this is the branch that i'm going to be playing off of we're going to have it right here. I'm going to have a stand location over here, and I've already got a stand location over here. So my thoughts are, if I put a scrape right here in the middle, these bucks can come right out of these woods. And we're going to, this will be a nice clover plot. We're getting ready to do clover, but we're going to put our scrapes in right here, kind of a central location. We're going to have a branch coming down off of this branch, hanging down right over top of that scrape. So now I'm just going to rake the ground up. I'm going to put a big area in, and this is just where my scrape is going to be at. It doesn't have to be huge but just good size to where you have bare dirt and you can just rake it all up just like I did. So once you have the branch zip tied to the tree, you'll have a perfect setup branch over top of your mock scrape. I like to do this on trees that don't necessarily have a perfect branch. You might not have to do this on all the trees, but for this one, I went ahead and did it. So you, as you can see, we've got our mock scrape set up. I raked the ground with a nice rake. I zip tied this branch so that it would hang a little bit lower and it's straight up and down. I like a good straight up and down branch for my mock scrapes. If there's a tree branch that comes out already, that's kind of perfect and you can, you know, if you, if you have a tree that'll work for a scrape, I just recommend doing that. This tree, unfortunately, didn't have a very good branch. So all I had to do was just take a branch from the same exact tree and then I just zip tied it to another tree. Now that'll die, but it'll still have leaves and you'll still have a good licking branch hanging over top of your scrape into the season. This is gonna be another mock scrape that I'm putting in on this farm. I went ahead and already raked the ground and I've got it all the ground all set up. And on this tree, I was able to just break some of these branches to hang straight up and down over top of the scrape. Just wanted to show this real quick because it's just kind of another example of a mock scrape that I'll do where I don't have to zip tie the branch. I can just break these branches down, hang a couple branches down to where those bucks can come up, they can paw at that ground, and they can still rub all up in here and they can rub this branch as well. So this tree is kind of an ideal mock scrape tree for me where I can just break the branch real quick, but unfortunately it doesn't always work that way. And so sometimes you have to zip tie a branch. This mock scrape was set up perfect to where all I had to do was bend a couple branches, rake the ground and it's ready to go. Now I'm gonna be putting some scents on these scrapes. I don't have them in yet. They're on their way to my door. I'll have to come back out here and do it. But I'm actually gonna be using the raised hunting scents this year. I'm not partnered with them. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. I just, you know, I, I like their stuff. I've used some other stuff in the past and some stuff's worked, some stuff hasn't. But uh, this year I'm really gonna see kind of how they work and how I like them. Uh, this will be my first year using them. So I'm really not sure how they'll do. Uh, I've heard some great things. I've had some buddies that use them. But uh, I'm kind of excited to get these scents. I think I get them next week. They're coming in the mail. I just got them ordered a couple days ago. But I just wanted to get out here, get these already pre-made. This is going to be super easy for me to just run back out, put some scents on these branches, and then just leave. Let these guys sit and soak all through the year. I'll have a camera on that tree facing this scrape, and I'm going to put another camera on the other scrape. And we're going to see how they do and kind of just how you know it works. I've even thought about maybe using two different scents putting one scent on this and putting one of the scents on the other scrape and seeing which one has more activity. Um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but that's just kind of how I like to set my mock scrapes up, guys. I hope this helps you in the future on your farms and hopefully you guys can find success with this. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. I will do my best to answer. And as always, don't forget, like, subscribe, hit that little bell notification so you get notifications every time I post. It really does help me out a ton and I cannot wait to bring you guys another epic season.